Well, Kevin Holland won't be the only member of the PC caucus from here in the Northwest. Voters in Kenora Rainy River once again put their faith in incumbent Greg Rickford. It was an unusual campaign this year with no public debates in that riding. Adam Riley was in Kenora last night and files this report. We walked in the snow, we walked in the rain, and why? One reason, to re-elect Greg Rickford, the member of the Provincial Party of Kenora Rainy River. The riding of Kenora Rainy River will remain blue for another four years, as progressive conservative Greg Rickford took a very early lead Thursday evening and didn't look back until he was declared the winner. He says now, with a clear mandate both locally and provincially, it's time to continue on with what he started in 2018. They've asked for uh, a commitment to ensure that we continue to invest, uh, make an unprecedented investments in health care, in education, to support small businesses, growth in the resource sector, forestry and mining, and make sure that there's a brighter, better day for everybody in northwestern Ontario. As of Friday afternoon, 105 of the riding's 108 polls had reported in, with a total of 15,530 votes cast. 9,231 of those votes were directed towards Rickford, giving him 59.4% of the vote, with a 6,000 vote lead on his NDP challenger, Joanne Foreman Gustafson, from Fort Francis, who took just shy of 3,100 votes. Third place went to Anthony Leak of the Liberals, followed by Catherine Keevening of the Greens. Leak feels having a late start to his campaign didn't have that much of an impact, but he says it was definitely a different election this year especially with a low voter turnout. It was, it was very much one of those things where we kind of knew what was going to happen, but at the same time with the situation with the flooding and everything, we weren't quite sure what that would mean, and we found that out. But overall, it was a good campaign. It was uh, a little bit different than without the debates and all that, but at the same time, you gotta, you got to do it. Leak says the message from voters was clear and looks forward to rebuilding the Liberal Riding Association in the region going forward. Meanwhile, for Rickford, who served the last four years in several different cabinet roles, says he's enjoyed every minute of it, but won't speculate on whether or not the next four years will see him return to those roles. I'll simply say that, that uh, I think that... Um, uh, it's a, a very special responsibility, one that I've had federally and provincially and at every turn have tried to leverage for the benefit of the people here in Kenora and Kenora Rainy River in the two chapters of my political career. Adam Riley, TBT News.